Good morning, everybody. Good Thursday morning. Happy Thursday. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt today uh, looking at some clouds, the rain, the drizzle. They've come to an end. Of course, a few hours ago, this camera lens was kind of coated in some uh, droplets, a little bit of uh, mist out there, but uh, things drying out. And you can see if you look closely, you're, there's a couple of bright spots in that stratus layer of cloud cover, giving you hope that maybe we'll see some breaks of sunshine and eventually full scale clearing. I think that will be the story as we move along this morning. And certainly by around uh, 10, 30, 11, uh, 12 o'clock, I think we're going to see some sunshine. The afternoon looks bright, sunny, and pretty pleasant. We're in the 50s right now, which isn't too bad for this time of the morning, but the warmest we've been at this hour of the morning uh, in, in a week or more, but we're looking at some 70s later today, which is kind of nice. You haven't been there yet this week, but uh, anyway, looking outside, there's our Gwaltney Group camera from a CC Heights. Beautiful day there. Uh, well, at least a milder day at the clock tower, but uh, waiting for that sun. Uh, winds out of the southeast. Uh, a fairly light uh, note with those winds, and they're going to remain light throughout the day. In fact, dropping off a little bit more uh, to that seven or eight, nine mile per hour range for the rest of the day. So it uh, looks like a good looking day. Some sunshine, 70s sun tomorrow. The weekend, I wish we could say, was going to be bright, sunny, and cheery. Instead, it's going to be something a little less than ideal, a little less than pleasant. Now, the, the good news is the silver lining, I keep saying this is silver lining in all this, is that yeah, the weekend is the wettest spot of the next week, but it also uh, gives us a chance to make a, up some of our rainfall deficit. Right now, it's approaching an inch and a half. We could use some. We had uh, a little more than a tenth of an inch last night, uh, 15 hundredths of an inch officially in Rochester at the airport, and about 16 hundredths of an inch here in northwest Rochester at KTTC and Fox 47. But uh, we could use some more, to say the least. Uh, we could use more than an inch, and we may get something like that over the weekend. 50s right now uh, to start the day, 54 in Rochester. Dew point, 51. That's a measure of the humidity in the atmosphere, and there's a little more of that in the atmosphere today, and that's primed the atmosphere, set us up for these showers, and it's been kind of nice to have that. But here's a day planner moving forward, decreasing cloud cover, certainly around lunchtime. Breaks the sun, plenty of sun later in the afternoon. A high of 73 around 4 or 5 o'clock, 8.29 this evening is sunset. And certainly by then I think we'll have a lot of sunshine to talk about later tonight. Some bright moonlight. But the sky is gray right now. Had some showers around the area. Persistent light rain through the overnight hours. Exactly what we were hoping for. Something that, that if nothing else, moisten things up. They reduce the wildfire threat and uh, green things up just a little bit. Watching a storm system and it's cold front coming through. Now a future track looking at these shower chances. If we go to the latter part of the afternoon uh, for the most part, by and large, we're looking dry, and I think we will stay dry. Showers may skirt the area to the south. Just a few light showers come in uh, from the north, but I think we're going to stay dry in between those rounds of rain. So for us, a uh, brighter day and uh, a mild one. 73, that's the expected high temperature, about 5 degrees above the seasonal average for this time of the year. Uh, and uh, maybe a taste of what we might normally see later in the month of May. Decreasing cloud cover today, plenty of sun through tomorrow. Uh, kind of a cool breeze out of the northwest, uh, but a great looking Friday. The weekend, breezy and gray and a little cooler. Not terribly cool, but uh, upper, 40, upper 60s, that is, on Saturday, Sunday. As it stands right now, with the showers holding on in the latter part of the day, it may not get much past 60 degrees. So we're gonna have to watch that. Otherwise, um, you know, by and large, the next week or so, at or above the seasonal average. Showers uh, from this morning giving way to clear skies and some sun. Watch those stronger thunderstorms in Iowa and Illinois. They're well south of us. We don't have to worry about that today. High pressure brings plenty of sun tomorrow, but then tomorrow night, here come the clouds and the showers come in uh, for Saturday morning. First, those showers may reach us around 9 or 10 in the morning. Looks like the best chance of more, more widespread rain afternoon with some thunder at times late in the day Saturday, but severe weather threat is still not so much a concern for us. Not a lot of stability with those showers, but we may pick up between Saturday midday and early afternoon Sunday with that rain going on. We may pick up as much as an inch of rainfall, and that would be pretty big. Uh, most rainfall we will have had in any one stretch of time like that, going back to maybe Easter when it wasn't even rain, it was it was, it was snow, but it was melted precipitation. It worked out to be uh, about eight-tenths of an inch of moisture with that, and that was pretty beneficial, even though it was snow and it was Easter. Nobody liked it, but uh, we, we need some moisture, and so here's your chance this weekend. Today, uh, skies are clearing off. 73 Rochester, Austin 74, Charles City 72. Uh, plenty of afternoon sunshine. West winds light, only around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 48 tonight, light winds and clear skies. And tomorrow, a little more of a northwest breeze, around 16 or 17 miles per hour, but 69, plenty of 
of Friday sunshine, and you can't beat that, right? The seven-day forecast, if we're lucky, a little sun early Saturday. Otherwise, showers take over by late morning, especially through the afternoon. Sunday, breezy, cool, and damp with off and on rain. Then next week, ready to go, go back to work. There's the sun. There's the warmth. 70s and eventually even some low 80s. So the weekend stands out as eh, not, not ideal, but... We'll take what we can get, and uh, hopefully we'll salvage a few moments here and there of some decent weather during that span of time. But temperatures, by and large, looking pretty nice for this time of the year. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you right back here tomorrow for TGIF Friday.